dogs rather than passive alert dogs, and I've trained a lot of passive alert dogs as well for this. The big problem I find with a passive alert dog is that if you don't get that dog hitting right at exactly where the sources of the odor is coming from, when you take your sample, you can come up zero. Where the aggressive dog, he goes right to source, tells me exactly where it is, and a lot of people say that the, the uh, dog aggressive alert will wipe away the substance. That doesn't happen believe me. In uh, 15 years, never had substance cleaned up by the dog scratching it out. Let him scratch that long anyway. This is Smoke Jr. He's one of the two dogs that I have now. The old guy's getting up there in age and I've got Junior just kind of learning as we go along. You notice he was searching in that one area there when we first come in there and there was a, a cap off of the container of, uh, I believe it was gas, that was left on the ground there and the inspector picked it up so I've got to uh, I, you could see he was searching that area looking for the cap and he come over and there was a burn mark on that 2x4 and that's why I'm trying to make him go up but he's fighting me and uh, I should have realized I just let him have his head uh, but the investigator wanted me to check that 2x4 any residual odor uh, of uh, an accelerant you'll see the dog eventually turn around and go over where he wants to go and uh, he, he'll indicate very quickly. The dogs are trained on approximately uh, 20, uh, 20 odors, five odors, but five basic odors, but they'll work on 20 different uh, accelerant odors. Here we're checking uh, pallets that were on fire, but after checking it with the dog, we we surmised that uh, the, that whole uh, stack of pallets were burned from the, the building that had burned down 10 feet across behind behind us. Now here's uh, Smoke Senior, and you can see the difference in the dog. He's steadier, he knows what he's doing there, he's methodical, he's working on a, a, his own rhythm. I, in most cases I give him his head unless I want him to check some individual area that uh, I suspect might be, uh, uh, might have some excellent residue of any kind. And now he goes along here, and you'll see as he comes along, or along this way, the wind is blowing down there. He's starting to pick up an odor. His head comes up in the air. And uh, I noticed that, so I allowed him to go forward. And uh, it wasn't long before he was over at that uh, pallet container and hit on a, a pool of something that was on the ground there. And by the way, the uh, test that came back, they were sent away and came back were all positive for accelerants from both dogs. Now, I reward every time 